I think I'm in love. She's beautiful. Hey. I have this Casta Fierce. I think this is a great thing to open on Halloween. My box is a bit banged up. I think she would be the perfect Monster High opening for this holiday. I got her for a very good price of $10. The box is banged up, so I don't really mind opening this. Let me tell you a little bit about her. Actually, maybe you should read it. So we don't want to waste any time here. She's 19, so she's older. I was going to also do Blood Good. I do like the older girls. I think 19 is old enough for me to date, don't you? Her BFF is Caddy Noir and Operetta. Don't say anything about pets? Oh, I can't have a pet because I don't think I could stand being constantly asked. Oh, how cute. Was this a fan of yours? Oh, because she's a witch and she turned it into a animal. Interesting. So, I have not seen the episode or any episodes. I saw the new movie, so I don't really know if she's good or evil. She looks evil as a doll, but the artwork makes her look good. So I think that she's just some kind of performer. She's super sparkly. I love her in this package, and I like her green skin. And she comes with a stand and a brush, because this is olden days. Them's were the days, huh? I'm just cutting her out right now. I'm not wasting any time. I got all kinds of Halloween reviews to do. I want to make sure that I get them all up. I'm not sure I will. Just to show you the back of her card really quickly. Looks like that. She's got some backup musicians there on stage. It's pretty cool. I like the colors. Very Halloween-y. This is the stand and the hairbrush that she comes with. The basic black standard ones. Again, very Halloween-y. Her hands look like a different shape. They're bigger and I'm really liking her. In the box, I thought her outfit might have looked a little cheesy, tacky. Her accessory, she's got some Steven Tyler kind of like ribbons and they're actually belts. There's belt buckles on them. Very strange that they did include belt buckles that are a little too big for the ribbons. The broom does snap apart really easily, but it's pretty cool. I also don't know why they wouldn't have made a functioning broom. I guess it has to be a mic stand. And in her hand, she does come with this microphone, which she does hold very well. Let's put it in the mic stand. That's cool. Okay, I, I apologize. That's super duper cool. Also, she can fly away and fly on stage with it. That is awesome. Now I'm a huge Rockabilly fan. I love her pompadourish hairdo. Really cool. I like her shoulder pads. The colors are a bit much. It's kind of tacky, kind of overdone, but super good for Halloween. And there's buckles and belts everywhere. She's got bicep bangles. She's got another purple bangle. She's got a silver bangle. That's something you don't see very often. A vac metal accessory. I have not seen one yet in something that I've opened from Monster High. This buckle is also vac metal. And let's take a look at the boots. They're pretty rugged. They're also, they're a little warmer than usual. They're not your regular sandal. So she can definitely get through October, November, and December with these. Her dress really is tight, so it really prevents her legs from moving. I love the color of her skin, though. Let's get her clothes off. Let's take a look at all of the stuff that she's got on. Very, very interesting shoulder apparatus. See if I can make her a little more comfortable. Two strap attachments in the back for that. And I like how they protect her puff sleeves. Oh, so those aren't just bicep bracelets. Those actually are attached to the shoulder pad things. So you have to undo those to get it off. I didn't even notice patent leather at the top. Up here it was hidden by so many layers of details. She looks a little more comfortable like this. A little more demure. Look at this. Look at this apparatus piece. Very Gaga. Have you pre-ordered your Gaga? I forgot to look at the book. The book is awesome. It's all pop art in here. 
cool. Super cool. Really cool. I love that. Very Andy Warhol. Nice. No bio or anything. Just great pictures. Really nice book. Like that too. Kind of 80s. A lot of 80 influence. I think Mr. Sander is into the 80s. Let's take a look at this dress. Very, very form-fitting dress. So she does have this mesh sleeve that's totally a separate piece. And she's a taller ghoul. She's taller than most of the others. This is a separate piece. What? Oh man. Okay, now I have to put her arms back on for sure. Okay, this is like a deluxe doll. This is like a special edition doll because of all of the layers and stuff. See, now she's even more comfortable. And she looks great like this. In fact, she looks like she would be going to an award show. Okay, I guess I don't have to take off her sleeve and her bracelets completely. I did give you a good look at her bracelets, did I not? The two purple ones are the same. Want to see her boot? Wow. The dress is very rigid, very mermaid like it keeps its shape. That can stand up on its own. Again, very gaga. And yeah, she's taller, and I really do like the color of her skin. I heard her arm snap a bit. That was her joint coming out. So the thing about these this is why I do like a budget with less articulation. They don't fall apart as easy as these ones do. And she's got that tear mark in her eye, and her earrings close up look like that. Yeah, she's cool. I really do like the color of her skin, it's awesome. I'll just put on her simplest of dresses, and then I will say goodbye. Let me know what you think of her. I like her a lot. Let me know if you want to see Miss Bloodgood's review too, because I do have that one. They remind me a lot of each other. Perhaps it is because they're older and taller. Some maturity was put into both of them that I see. I like an older woman, even though she's 19. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Happy Halloween. Just look at that long hair. Wow. Woo! Woo! Crazy, crazy!